AITA for telling my daughter to find another place to live because she's pregnant again? My, 49F, daughter Josie, 19, had her first baby when she was 15. My husband and I were devastated at first because we knew this was going to be a very difficult path for our daughter. We did all we could to give her sex education but it wasn't enough and we couldn't turn back time so all we could do was support her in what she wanted to do. My husband and I helped Josie take care of our grandson and encouraged her to finish high school. She never did because she said her priority was being a mother and she didn't have time to invest into finishing high school. We told her she would either go to school or get a job but we weren't going to give her the option of doing neither for more than a year after she gave birth, so she got a part-time job at a hair salon. The father of my grandson, who was her age, would give her about $100 a month for baby-related stuff and would come over every couple of months to see his son, but that was all he did although he lived in the same city as his son. A few days ago, Josie broke the news to us that she's pregnant again. The father is the same boy who got her pregnant the first time. My husband and I were pissed. How can she get pregnant by that boy for the second time when he was very obviously not consistent or helpful with their first baby? And with Josie living with us rent-free, and us having to take care of my grandson for her so she can work, go out, etc. This does not seem fair at all that she can add another baby into this mess. After a few days of thinking about it and discussing it with my husband, we decided to tell Josie to move in with the father of her children and raise the children together. She said they're not in a relationship so they can't live together, and they wouldn't be able to afford it anyway. I told her she needs to figure something out because we, my husband and I, are not willing to raise another baby for her. She said you're never satisfied with anything I do. You told me to get a job so I did, and now you're complaining that you had to raise the baby. You wouldn't have had to if I didn't have to work. I can't do both things at once, and I definitely can't raise two kids on my own and work. What 19-year-old can do that? I replied we tried to teach you how to be responsible after your first baby and we did all we could to be there for you. You clearly haven't learnt a thing and it's not our job to keep picking up after you. So before your baby arrives, discuss living arrangements with the father and figure something out. She has been crying and not talking to us since. She's called both sets of her grandparents to speak to my husband and I and change our minds so we can help her raise her baby. My husband's parents think we're being very harsh and punishing her for something that's already happened, which isn't helpful. They offered to take Josie and our grandson in but Josie doesn't want to take her kids so far away from their dad. My in-laws are saying we'll regret abandoning our daughter and that we should be showing her a better example of unconditional love. I just don't know what more we could do without sacrificing our own lives. A-I-T-A?